Mrs. Lovett Turner is incredibly successful at making maths super fun. Mm. Equations are our favorite, are our favorite, and we all look forward to maths during the day. Since lockdown has happened, it is clear that Mrs. Lovett Turner has our best interests at heart and only cares for our learning and well-being and nothing else. She is a very self Who wrote this? Not sure. Here she is. Oh, hello everybody. Are you filming? It's for our documentary, miss. Oh, well, you should have told me you were filming. Ye yes, miss. I, I told you we would be yesterday. I I came to see you, remember? No, you never did anything of the sort. But, miss, miss, if I... you told me you were filming, I would have put on something a bit more glamorous. I think you look lovely, miss. Thank you, Francis. I guess the audience will have to put up with my everyday wear. Are we going to get on with the class, miss, for the documentary? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Okay, so let's recap what we did last time. Hugo, what, what is 54 plus 89? 143, miss. Excellent, how clever you are. Francis, 298 minus 36.75. 261, miss. Don't, don't forget the 0 0.25 at the end, there, Francis. Bless him. Okay, Jemima darling, multiplication please. 21 times 3. 63, miss. Fantastic. Well, this little genius it is you are. This is just the warm-up, you see. I have taught the multiple or different equations that they have to keep them thinking on their feet. Watch. Master Brimble, if 3x minus y equals 12, what is the value of 8 times 2y? What, miss, even with six, six cups of coffee in my system, I, I can't work that out. I may be, be captain of the hockey team, but how, how old do you think I am? Look on the card. What? Look at the back of the card. Oh, oh. the pat. To the power of twelve, miss. Bravo, Astrid. Fantastic work. Thank you, everybody, for coming to check on my class. It's been a pleasure ha having you all here. I guess the class is finished early then, miss. Miss? Just go, we're done. See you next week. All right, then. Let's go. Time for English class with it's Mr. Carmichael. He, he's a great teacher with some um, um temper issues. Don't get me wrong, we learn a lot from his classes, but don't get on his bad side, whatever you do. A few years ago, Francis accidentally laughed in his lesson behind his back, and he still hasn't forgiven him for it. No laughing in Mr. Carmichael's class, you see. Watch this. Good afternoon, you Harpwitz. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Hello, sir. Quiet, Francis! Sorry, sir. Hi, sir. Hello, Hugo. How is your father? Is he well? I'm looking forward to playing golf with him in a couple of months after lockdown is over. But, sir, I just said hello and you... Not now, Francis! Sorry, sir. Right, you miserable lot. Time for spelling. Has everyone been practicing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, Tamblin Goggin, have you? Yes, sir. I said to be quiet, Francis. That was a test and you failed. I'm sorry, sir. I'm glad you will practice your homework because today we are spelling completely unrelated words. Jemima, spell excited. E X C I T E D. Good. Miss Ditton, spell entrepreneur. 
A N T R E P R E N E U R. So, well done, Hugo. Yes, sir. Spell golf. D O L F, sir. Marvelous. Great work, Pendleton. Francis. Yes. Spell anti disestablishmentarianism. What? Spell anti disestablishmentarianism. I don't, sir, I don't think I can. What do you mean? I mean what I say, sir. I can't spell that. Or it was on the homework. That is not a good enough excuse. Clearly, the spelling is A N T I D I S A S T A B L I S H M E N T A R I A N S M. Oh, you're so mean. <gasps> It's okay, sir. Thank you, everyone. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'll try and do it. Looks like I'm just struggling to cope with the lockdowns. It's all right, sir. We have, we all have off dates. I'm sorry, I said you were mean. I didn't mean it. I just didn't know how to spell the word, and I overreacted. <laughs> Of course, sir. Great, now be quiet, you imbecile. Mr. Dank for a third was said the school's oldest science teacher until where he retired. We had a big party for him, everybody year eight cake. We're going to miss him heaps. The problem is all this happened just before lockdown. Even though he's retired, the lessons aren't the same as they used to be. Hello everybody, welcome to Science 2.0, the science class that actually teaches you very little about science. I've officially given up on teaching academics because I'm retired now. So who's ready for life lessons with Mr. Dankworks? I guess that's worth a try. Remember sir, we are filming for the documentary. Wait, no problem. Astrid, step forward. Yes, y yes sir. You have a bit of a cold there. No, sir. I just have the sh sh shake from all the coffee. No problem. Add a touch of magic to your cold by putting glue in your mouth before you sneeze. A two. What? Miss Ellen Buckley. Your father will like this one. Uh oh. Yes, sir. If you're looking for something at night time and you have a flashlight. I have found that if you take a photo of the sun during the day on your mobile phone, you can use it in the dark to find your way. Genius, sir. Cordelia, hold this. This is pasta, sir. Are you tired of boiling water every time you make pasta? Well, a few gallons at the beginning of the week and then freeze it for later. Exactly. Science. Hugo. You're looking a bit pasty there, old chap. The solution? Um, caviar and a chicken pate with crackers. No, silly. Eggs! Eggs are really healthy and should be the foundation of your diet. Don't like the taste? Add cocoa, butter, flour, and bake for 30 minutes. Yes! Science! Last tip, top tip of the day, everybody. When you went for your your pension, but you can't get it because you're in lockdown at school, you spent 50, 56 years in? Don't worry. If you sleep till noon, you have to pay for two meals instead of three. Speaking of which... Gosh. I'll let the poor man nap. I'm off to Starbucks. I might try some of those eggs you was talking about. That's cake, Hugo. Oh. And that concludes our small demonstration video of Millennium Grammar Academy. 
Hope you have enjoyed watching our daily education routines. And don't forget there are still time to enroll for the next academic year. We highly recommend this school. And we believe we are all coping fantastically throughout throughout these circumstances. Thank you ever so much for watching and we hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Mummy and Daddy. Hello? Yes, is that the ambulance? We have a student here who's collapsed after drinking too much coffee. Again. Thank you.